Hello everyone. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how you can connect or integrate the Rhino app to the HMRC Making Tax Digital VAT platform. This would enable you to submit your VAT return with just a couple of clicks uh, within the Rhino app. So the first thing we need to do is go into the Finance screen. Click on Finance from the menu and if we select uh, 2017 um, this is the finance uh, screen or the finance dashboard so we can see the financial year, the start and end date, the accounting method and you've got different accounting methods so you've got the uh, VAT, you've got cash based, you've got flat rate schemes and so on. This shows me my sales, the cash received, the expenses, my profit and this is calculated based on the accounting method. Um, if you want to see the detail behind any of these figures you just click on the show me link and that will drill you through into the detail. Uh, we also have the debtors and we also highlight any debtors that are more than 30 days old. So the next thing you may or may not see is the integration at the bottom of the finance screen. It may not be applicable to everyone. Uh, all you've got to do is click on the menu, select the system settings, go into the system defaults and this is where we configure the Rhino app and we can change the different settings. Uh, scroll down to integration, click on edit and just make sure that this is enabled. Okay, once this is enabled you'll see the integration feature at the bottom of the finance screen. So if we just uh, go back into the finance screen Okay, to add a new integration, um, so if we want to integrate to the VAT system, all we've got to do is we select Add Integration, and there'll be a library of different integration components. So we select the VAT submission, and it's now asking us to input our VAT registration number. Once we do this, we'll then connect to the, uh, so this is the second step, we connect to the HMRC system, and what that will do is it'll ask us to um, authenticate or to allow this app to update the figures on your behalf. I enter in my user ID and I enter in my password and I click on the sign in button. Um, it's now asking me to grant the Rhino app authority to change my VAT information and to view my VAT information. Um, so to grant authority I just click on grant authority. So once you've completed that step and you go back into the Rhino app and you have a look at 2017 you'll now see a new integration component at the bottom of the screen. So just to summarize what we've done all we've done is we've connected the Rhino app through to the HMRC system. It's a highly secure connection. All of the data is encrypted. So we're now ready to make our submission. Just to emphasize the authentication or connecting your Rhino app through to the HMRC system uh, should take you about uh, 60 seconds and it's a one-off exercise. Okay, we're now connected to the HMRC system. We've completed that one-off process and we're now ready to make a VAT submission. So to do that, we come down to the new component that we just added, um, the VAT submission component, and we click on the next due date. So what it's now doing is it's connecting automatically to the HMRC system, so I don't have to log in again, and it's pulling back all of the obligation dates. These are the dates whereby I should be submitting uh, a VAT return. So to make a VAT submission, all I need to do is click on the quarter. It essentially completes the nine box form, uh, which you'll be familiar with. I also have the option to click on edit and I can now go in and make adjustments. These figures here are calculated based on the data stored in Rhino, um, so I can't edit those figures. Um, I can make my adjustments, I can add in some notes uh, so I can remember why I made those adjustments and I'll eventually get the final figure. So this is your nine box form. 
if you're an accountant and you are making a lot of adjustments maybe the customer made some mistakes on their on their invoices and so on uh, what you can do is you can make bulk corrections so you could extract the data into Excel and then you can attach a spreadsheet if you want to make bulk adjustments so if you're happy with that uh, and this is very similar to the HMRC uh, online form you have to click on a declaration saying that you're um, you're satisfied with all of the figures and so on and then you simply finalize the process and this now updates the HMRC system and it also locks all of the records uh, all of the invoices and expenses that were associated with this submission so just to summarize making a VAT submission should take probably about 60 seconds uh, Rhino automatically calculates all the values for you you've got the flexibility to make adjustments um, and it also locks all of the transactions all of the invoices credit notes and expenses that were linked to that VAT return so that you don't double count them in, in future we've tried very hard to actually make the VAT submission process as simple as possible okay thank you very much and we'll see you on the next tutorial